So, you've decided to start your own mobile bar business. What do you need to know? First thing you need to start off with, and I wish I knew when I started, is do a business plan. Make sure it is thorough and you've covered all your bases. So the list of things I wish I knew before we started, I'll just run down because they will actually go into your business plan. So first off, you will need a food license because if you're doing a mobile bar, ice is classed as food. So always check with your local council first just to check, see what you need. So you're gonna be doing a mobile bar, so always check what your local government says about liquor licensing. You probably find that uh, even if you do have a liquor license, if you do festivals and uh, big events, that liquor license won't apply to those and you'll have to apply for a temporary liquor license anyway. And also, if you didn't want to go down the road and get a liquor license, you can always partner with local breweries and wineries. They're always looking for mobile bars. A big thing, and this is one of the things that I didn't account for whenever I first did my business plan, was public liability insurance. Make sure you have this covered. Because if somebody gets sick at one of your events, you don't want to be paying that bill. Secondly, market research. Do your market research. Go to Google and check out what your local main competitors are doing. Just Google your town and mobile bar business. See what comes up. See what they're doing, see what the prices are. As I say, you gotta know who your competitors are so you price your own services accordingly. Thirdly, location selection. Um, if you're near local wineries and breweries, distilleries, reach out to them, contact them. You can get a lot of business by doing this way rather than just waiting for people to call you and book you. Logistics and equipment. How are you going to get your mobile bar to the destination? What are you going to use? Are you going to actually use a mobile bar that you can just fold and pack away? Or are you going to have like a mobile food truck? My business has its own vintage style caravan that we're able to sell cocktails out of. Um, we've done events where we've done six or 700 cocktails in a day. Networking and partnerships, as I've said before, you can contact local breweries and wineries Make friends with the people that work there. Do a good job and you'll get invited back. That's business that just keeps growing and growing. Adapt to different events. What I mean by this is um, if there's a local festival or market that you can't sell alcohol at, why don't you do mocktails? What else could you sell? Don't just limit yourself to weddings, corporate events, birthdays. Winter festivals, for example, my van was able to do hot chocolates, mulled wine, toasted marshmallows, that kind of thing. Customer feedback and improvements. Always after an event, get customer feedback. This is really important because if you've got good Google reviews, they'll gain you more business. And obviously we're in the service industry, so enhancing the overall customer experience is what it's all about. Seasonal trade, you'll find that in winter your events will kind of drop off, but then spring, summertime, that's peak season for weddings. You do not want to miss out on the wedding market. Remember your work-life balance too. I mean, owning your own mobile bar is brilliant. I say owning, owning your own business is what it's all about. If it makes you happy and you can get paid for it, that's all you want. In saying that, in peaks, peak season, you're gonna be so tired and run off your feet. So just remember that even though you know bar work is fun, it's not all fun and games. At the end of the day, it is hard work and you wanna get paid for it. Again, in that business plan, you want to account for literally everything. The cost of garnishes, the cost of straws, glassware, buckets, tubs, cocktail shakers, cocktail stirrers, jiggers, cutting boards, knives, bar mats, business cards, petrol, oil, juices, mixers, cleaning equipment. If you think you've thought of everything, you haven't. There's always something missing, but just make sure you try and get as many things as possible. And then once you've got all your costs, that's how you're going to 
find out what your price is, what you're going to set your prices at. The biggest tip I can give you, don't just look at your local competitors and match your prices to what they've got. They might have priced their services wrong. But I'm here to help, so if you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I will get back to you straight away. Thanks for watching. My name's Rusty Bartender. We'll catch you on the next one.